Hey, Mustangs. Today's sketchbook prompt has to do, uh, it's building off of yesterday's. We are going to draw four circles in today's prompt. And the first one you're going to write hatch next to. We're going to use different textures to add value to our spheres today. Hatching is just straight lines going in one direction. It can go in whatever direction, but they all go together. So you're going to make a hatch sphere. Notice I changed it to kind of go in the same direction. And then as you get closer towards your light source, your hatches would get lighter. It's just one way. Helps with fur, hair, things like that you would use hatching for. It gets lighter. The second is cross hatching. So they go one way and then the next. You can do little X's. They can go in a variety of directions. But it's just more layers in different directions. It covers more space. And hides all those white spaces in between your lines. And then, of course, as you get closer towards your light source, which I made over here, your hatches would get lighter. Value really involves pressure of your pencil. Notice I'm using a drawing pencil again today because then I can go back in and get real dark, which is harder to do with a, a regular pencil. You can do it, but it's harder to do. The third is called stippling. Stipple, S-T-I-P-P-L-E. I don't use this one a lot. It's dots. But it is really great if you have a very textured surface, like an orange. This would be a great orange texture. Um, if you're drawing a man's facial hair and they have like that shadow, this is great for that beard stubble. Animal textures, lizards, things like that. And sometimes you add a little bit of value by shading in with that stipple. And then the last one is what we did yesterday, where you just shade using light, medium, and dark. So today I want you to practice these four techniques, because I will ask you to use them in your sketchbook in the next few weeks for different assignments. And so I want you to be able to know which one's which, and how you use it, and which ones you like using the best. Obviously, I love shading, but sometimes it's not always the best option. Like if I'm drawing, like I said, an orange, it won't have that textured surface, but the stipple will help. So practice these today. Have a great day.